There has never been a better time to check out foottrading.co.uk. It is our trading website where we give you the buying and selling prices for every single card on this game and teach you how to trade. The market on FIFA 23 is the most expensive we have ever seen. So if you want the best cards, check out the website. There are giveaways. We'll have tournaments launching soon so you can pay people for prizes and it helps support our content. I guarantee you, you will never ever look back again and you'll never need to spend a single penny on FIFA points. Plans start at just £10 a month. Really, really good value for every buying and selling price on this game. Check out the website, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another new video with me, Fuzzball40. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Click that like button and please do comment. Loads of you guys watch these videos that aren't subscribed. Loads of you guys watch these videos that don't comment. It literally takes you guys 10 seconds to drop a comment or a like or whatever it is on the video. And I promise you it makes a massive, massive difference. And if you drop a comment, you may feature like this in the video it can be a shout out for your own channel it could be for your tiktok it can be for anything at all we will drop it in the video to help you guys and support you back we're talking about the best ways to grind packs at the moment whether you're willing to save them for foot birthday whether you're willing to put them by uh, for anything else later on in the game or if you're going to open them up now there's different ways you can do things and in my opinion the best way to go about um grinding stuff at the moment really does lie in everything but league sbc there's no point in league sbc grinding at the moment because so much stuff that has value is the League SBC stuff that will get you upgrade packs very, very cheap. So we'll get into it. I'll show you everything. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, one thing I will say straight away is EA have done a fantastic job on the grind for this week into Foot Birthday. Um, we all criticize them enough when, when they do stuff wrong. I'll give them credit for this one. Basically, this is where I think you need to be when it comes down to these upgrades. Um, I would always recommend Bronze Pack Method into upgrades to get you started, okay? The reason for this is a lot of people are saying that Bronze Packs um, aren't good at the moment. That isn't true. You will hit stuff eventually to get your coins back if you are patient, okay? So you're going to open up Bronze Packs and you're selling everything that sells. That includes the Major League stuff, so all the top five leagues. That is including Libertadores and Sud Americana cards. Some of those guys are selling for eight, nine hundred, a thousand coins easily. The rares you sell always for 300 coins, mass list them. You'll get a lot of your coins back, okay? Um, and that's how you're going to go about doing that part of the grind if you're willing to. If you're not willing to do that, then it's really, really simple to get yourself started. You can either bid on cards to get yourself some cards back for, for cheap. So let's say you wanted to go on Gold Commons. I'd go somewhere like Legan. And I'd, yeah, I'd start off here. And I'd have a little look at what's going. And basically, I'd bid on everything to get all these cards here. I'd be bidding on them, okay? Uh, but you can bid on these guys to get you started. And once you've got them, you then your job is to keep the ones that don't have any value and the ones that have a bit more value, you sell them on. But you sell them all at one time for a higher price. So let's say they're selling for 600 coins. You list them all up at 700 coins, okay? And we call this the buy three, keep uh, sell two, keep one method, okay? So let's say you buy them all for, for 400 coins and you sell them for 700. You sell two of them, keep one for free, okay? What that will do is allow you to keep that one continually over and over again, allowing you to build up loads of golds into your club. The same thing can be done with rares, but it's not as effective because the gaps aren't as big. Um, but that's the way you go about starting to build it up. Alternatively, on the game right now, there are tons of objectives for packs. Tons. You've got this draft one here that gets you loads and loads of packs. It gets you started off with a draft token, so you can do that. If you go further down, squad battles... So what you can go and do is play some squad battle matches with these th with these things in mind here. It gets you some jumbo gold packs, premium election packs, gets you all these packs here that you can go and use, plus rewards from squad battles that you can go and get, which go out, I think, now, basically. I'm pretty sure they come out now, like, into Monday, basically. You'll be able to do all these things, basically, to build up packs to play. Season progress will get you packs as well. 280-plus rated players, premium gold pack. You can build up pack cards into, into your club very, very quickly. That's all for free. All of that's for free. doesn't cost you a penny. You'll end up with all your coins back. You'll end up with whatever it is. If you're doing the bronze packs, it's easy. Anything that doesn't sell goes into the premium bronze upgrade. Then that goes into the premium silver upgrade. That gives you these five gold players back. That enables you to do it. Once you've got that point, you've got stuff in your club, this is the way to grind. The 75 times 5 is your starting place, okay? Now, the first one here requires 10 gold cards. Obviously, if you've gone out and done the bronze packs into silvers and whatnot, that's very easy to build up. Very, very easy to build up. And that's going to give you the 75 plus player. This is tradable, okay? It's tradable. Another one, this one here is seven rare gold. You should get that from doing the objectives and playing or converting some of the gold commons up that you get. Really, really simple. And the reason why this is so, so effective is 75 plus times five, 
gives you seven, 70, 75 pluses back, okay? Seven of them. If you get anything of note from these, you sell it for profit. I've seen people hit very good fodder in these, high rated fodder that can be sold for profit relatively easily, and then you'll get a 75 times five pack back. If you get any good fodder, high rated fodder, we're talking 83 plus, 83, 84, that you'll hold on to for now, okay? You'll hold on to that. Anything else goes back into this grind again, and considering it needs seven rare golds, if you don't hit anything, it all goes back in to complete this again. You go and complete this again. Simple as that. If you don't do that, then you might need to buy a couple of them or convert some more up again to get yourself a couple more rare golds. Relatively easy. And then you go again. You put the 10 golds into this and you repeat. And you keep repeating that method and you're going to open these up. I've seen people say they're going to stack them for, for birthday. Now is not the time to do that. At all. Now is not the time to do that. While you can complete this stuff, this stuff for free... While you can sort of grind it out, the time to open up is right now. Yes, there's nothing really of no impacts, but that does not matter. Because what you're then going to do is, as you get the higher rated fodder, you're going to save it, stack it up, and bit by bit, it's going to go into these ones here. So, if you want to put in rare golds into this eventually and change it up, you can. The 83 plus, a lot of people go with this to get themselves better rated cards. It's an okay SBC to do. 11 rare golds if you're getting high rated stuff and you want to put it into there. The common golds here, you can put it into it. Do this every now and then. Switch it up a little bit every now and then. If you get enough of the cards that are worth it, go ahead and do that. But this is where the, the money is, in my opinion. The 82 plus times 20. Repeatable two times a day. You've got five days of that to put that into foot birthday. Absolutely unreal. And what you're going to do is, as you're opening up 75 times 5, you will eventually pack, if you're willing to grind it, these players that you need. So team of the week players minimum 1, 84 rated, you'll get that done. And again here, 85 rated plus times 2. I've seen people banging out fodder after fodder from the 75 times 5s. You're going to complete this, but you're not going to open these packs up. There is no reason to open up the 82 times 20 while nothing is in packs. This is your build-up pack here. This is the one you're going to go, right, I'm going to get loads of packs ready, packs ready for foot birthday, okay? So you're going to end up with 82 times 20s. Even if you're not grinding heavily, there's no reason why you can't get 3 or 4 of them done between now and foot birthday. And that's a fantastic return on your grind. 20 players that are rated 82 or 80 or higher. You're pretty much guaranteed to hit a couple of decent cards when foot birthday comes round. And then again, keep repeating that method, keep repeating that method. And once you get your two times 20s, you've done those for the day if you've done them, then consider putting stuff into the 83 plus if you really want to. But I've seen a lot of people talk about this 83 plus. I prefer the 75 times 5 personally. The reason why, you can keep regrinding it. If you get five, seven worthless 75 plus rated players, they go straight back into it again. Then you just need 10 golds. It's so simplistic. So, so simplistic. And it's absolutely brilliant content from EA. Outside of that, once you start to build up this fodder, if you don't want to do the 83 plus double, because there's no need to, there's other stuff you can do in the game right now to throw into it. There's the 89 plus FIFA World Cup of Prime Icon upgrade if you want to do that. The 85 plus mixed campaign bag if you want to do that. The 87 plus base or FIFA World Cup hero player pick, you've got that there. EA are going to keep bringing out stuff to give you reasons to use your fodder. Utilise it. This is it, Kavar I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm going to call him um, Again, you could probably throw him in there, get yourself a bit more fodder if you want to do that. There's loads of stuff you can do here. By the way, this Sami Al Jaber, who's got 68 days and has just been given an upgrade, so it could be really worth doing because he's going to get to 90 rated. It looks like a half decent card anyway. Um, but you're going to keep doing that. And there's so much stuff in the game right now to keep you occupied while you're doing this grind that you'll be able to get loads of packs, stack up some really good packs for foot birthday. And along the way, be able to complete yourself some decent SBCs. Marquee matchups can get done if you really wanted to do it as well with some of the bits and bobs you get, the duplicates. You can go ahead and do that. But the most important thing is leave, leave um, League SBC alone. You don't need to engage with it at all. This is the way forward. And by grinding it out and doing things simplistically, you can do it for free. So let's sum it up. In my opinion, Bronze Pack Method remains the best way to stock your club up. Sell everything in the packs that sells, including Libertadores, Sudamericana, all of that stuff, okay? That's my opinion. If you don't want to do that, then you bid on gold rares from like Liga and places like that. Some of these we would have got, some of these we wouldn't have because people are going to snap and I've not been watching, but we'll clear out for that there. There you go, we've got two of them either way. Burnout again, sometimes sells for a bit more. Get 700 coins for him probably with mass listing relatively easily. Gone the lawns again, we'll get 700 coins for him mass listing easily. Forget the fact that they sell for like 550, 600 coins. It does not matter. They will sell for more if you've got 100 on the trade pile at one time, okay? Go ahead and do that. Bid on them and stock your club up, basically. So if you get 100, you sell 70, you keep 30. It's as simple as that. Guarantee you get your coins back. 
Once you've done that, you'll put the 75, to five, 75 times 5 together. If you get anything of note from the 75 plus 5 that has value, you sell it. Remember, Libertadores golds that aren't Boca and River Plate sell for like 2k plus. So that's something to think about. Once you've done that, anything else you don't use goes back into this to recycle it again. And you grind it again and again and again. Once you finish that off, 82 times 20 is your pace for all your high rated fodder. If you want to switch it up and get some 83 plus doubles for foot birthday, then go ahead and do that. Outside of this, once you finish that, you can do icon packs, hero packs, all that stuff to get awesome stuff into your club. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.